I'll tell you what, some of these animals out here got no respect for a guy's gold claim and his dig spot. The same goes for some people too, but we'll get into that later. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute. It's tough for me down here, folks, to do these videos. And I know I've said it a million times and I can give you a million reasons and excuses. And I'm just going to sum it up real quick with this and then we're going to get onto the video. Number one, I'm doing all this from an old iPhone 6 and it's really hard and it doesn't have enough space to make the length videos I need. Don't worry, we'll work on getting a better phone in the future. I know, I know. Number two, I don't have any access to Wi-Fi here. Um, to have access, I'd have to go to town, which is a long ways, yada, yada, yada. So that's a really tough effort for me too. And making the videos themselves is really tricky for me when I'm down here, metal detecting mostly because I got too much going on in my mind. I'm too focused on what the machine's doing. I got too much in my hands. You know, one hand I got a metal detector, the other hand I usually carry in my pick or it's on my side, but it's just a lot. It's a little too much for my simple brain to understand and comprehend and, and make all work. So I'm going to try over the, you know, over time, I'm going to try and get better at making some of these videos, bring you guys along, but it's really tough for me. So just to understand that it ain't nothing like them Fairburn agates where I'm just walking around talking like a dummy all day, looking at the ground. This is a lot more, a lot more work mentally and physically. So with that said, we'll get that out of the way and get onto this little video today. We got some fun for you. As you've seen, I'm out over here in a little dig hole I got going on. Um, we're going to see if we can try and find a little piece of gold. Hasn't been doing me good this year on this spot, but I keep coming back. I don't know why. Must be a reason. Maybe we'll find it today. Who knows? And stick around because I also got some gold to show you folks. And I know I ain't been showing you nothing along the way. So I thought this would be a perfect time to do a little catch up video. Show you guys some gold. See if we can't find some too. So stick around. Hope you enjoy. So this is an area I've worked over a few years now. As you can see, it's a really large area. This whole area right here is probably about 20 feet wide, 20 feet in length that way. Uh, it was all material that was about three feet deep at best, sometimes four. Uh, as you can see, I've dry washed some of it. The material after I get done digging and detecting this with that monster runs about a half a gram in fine gold per yard. And that's what I did this year was tested some of the pile I made last year. So I'm not leaving a whole lot behind. It's really not enough to pay for gas in my mind or the effort of dry washing. And that's why I love metal detecting. So what we're gonna do today is I've been chasing this pocket around and the best I can understand of it is the old timers came in, they set up in this creek, they dug a hole, but they set up on top of the creek. So where I'm sitting right now was good ground. When I came in, it had never been dug. This was some really fantastic ground. I mean, I pulled, a lot of gold, we'll just say that. A lot of nice little nuggets out of here. And then all of a sudden I got deeper into it, thinking the closer I got to this bank over here, you know, it starts to go uphill, I'd still have good dirt. And then, guess what I ran into? Tailings, see that? You see how that's all sloughing really simple like that? That's all been dug before. And one of the key factors you can tell, especially in Arizona with dry washers, is you'll have a large rock pile, so your coarse tailings, and then you'll have your fine tailings over here. So that's all been dug before. And then, you know, up they were in here 100 plus years ago. So you never know which crowds it was that did this exact dig. But then you have all these years of flows over it that changed it. Now, the old creek may have run, you know, and you never know. It could have come straight through here. But then they did all this working over here, piled it here. And now the creek runs in a whole different, you know, direction so to say on the other side of the this little valley so it's really hard sometimes to tell what's been dug and what hasn't and that's kind of what i'm facing today i've been all over this and i know there's more because i just found a little piece the other day and i got into this tiny little pocket over here that has never been dug so i'm gonna move some junk out of the way here take down some of my hanging wall there that i got overhanging and uh then we're gonna get doing a little detecting all right, we got it going here. I just did a little move in the dirt, got some of the old stuff out, dropped a little bit of the wall. Gonna go ahead and set you folks up right here. See if I can do this without shaking around too much. We're gonna do a little digging right here. And the reason is because I was out here, I don't know, last week or so, and I found a little piece down in there and it was really tough material, hadn't been dug. There was a nice mix of big rock, little rock, couple boulders. Uh, you can kind of see one of the rocks over there. 
but it's weird because on the other side of this i had a hole going too it's only a couple feet that way and i ran into tailings so maybe i'm coming into where they stopped i don't know maybe i'm running through some old tailings or they missed some gold and it's just really compacted well who knows we're gonna dig around and see what we find so basically when i when i say i'm out here digging and detecting with the monster it's literally just that. We're just going to dig and detect, and then we'll set you up here, see what you guys, so you guys can see what I'm running for settings here. Don't mind my little screen protector. I don't know why I keep it on there. I'm going to keep the volume down just for a minute. I'm on deep, all metal, and right now I'm in full manual mode, 10 clicks, I believe it is, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You got 10 clicks. Next one up would be auto. Auto 2 would be all the way up. So we're going to be two clicks from the top, and we're going to go in manual mode. Now, I just scraped a bunch of this around and pulled a few rocks out. So we're just going to make sure, before I move any more dirt, that there ain't a target just laying here somewhere. And if you got a monster, listen along. Now, when you're running in manual mode like this, it's going to be a little noisier and there's going to be some chatter. But you'll hear the targets way better when they do come out. Okay, so I'm getting a little pull right there. I think I'm just gonna move that, move that little rock a little bit right here. Probably that rock, a lot of hot rocks in the spot. Get rid of that one. Okay, I'm not hearing nothing. I'm going to swing the coil around and flip, swing against the wall here. See if I hear anything in the rock still, or in the gravel. That's a signal right there. Alright, let's get that moved. Now, I don't look at the gauge very often on the gold monster. That thing will lie to you. I've had a fat nugget that it said was an iron stone or whatever a piece of iron so don't always trust that thing i tell people put a piece of tape over that dang thing from the start so you don't get looking at it too much sounds like hot rock yep must have been a hot rock because i'm not hearing it no more and i took out that one rock i heard some sound on around it's probably that rock right there all right i'm not hearing nothing there so what i'm gonna do go ahead and dig a little bit more of this wall out just a little bit at a time you don't want to dig too much or miss something and i'm on a caliche base here so it's not bedrock it's caliche which for those of you that don't know what caliche is it is calcium carbonate and it forms on these ancient places in Arizona. It pretty much comes up through the ground, from what I understand, in liquids. And creates kind of a concrete around the rocks. And you can always tell when they've been dug or when they haven't. Because if they haven't, they always come out pure white like that in this area of Arizona. See how it's all covered in white? Every one of these rocks are different. But right now they look all the same because they have that calcium carbonate on it. So that's another way to tell if something's been dug before is because as soon as they're exposed to air and water, it loses that layer of white calcium carbonate. Something there. Go ahead and get that dug up. Maybe that was what I heard before and I moved it too far. Now another tip with the monster is if it can only hear something that far in the ground, you don't want that much in your scoop, that's for sure. So take small little scoops and don't try to move things around too much or you'll lose those little pieces. So I usually do three or four scoops and if I can't get in the scoop by then, I'll re-pinpoint and try again. 
Gotta be right here. Got it, whatever it is. Oh, I hope it's not something off my magnet. I got a magnet on my pick. Sounds good. That's the sound we want. And I just do half and half. Put some in my hand, some in the scoop. So it looks like I got a rock here. I don't know if there's a piece of gold. I'm hoping it's not this rock. Ah, oh, dang it. Yep, look at that, this little piece of iron stone. I went ahead and broke it in half for you. See that right there? A little piece of iron stone. Just broke up. Dang it, that should have been the nugget. All right, well, let's keep going. That was my knee. I got my knee braces on, so when I got close to my knee there, it was here and that. That would have been a nice nugget. Now I can see some flow sands on top of this and some different layers, you know, so gold might have been trapped in some of these other layers as it was being eroded from the, you know, up the hill, so to say, in, in recent time. But generally, I don't find a lot up in that stuff. It's usually right down at the bottom here. All right, you got some nice rocks in there. That's one of the keys. You want to have like, them rocks. Some rocks hold the gold. Sand don't trap much. You don't want to be in a flow sand area. All right, let's see what we got here. We'll do a little bit more digging with you folks. That's a hot rock for sure. Come on, nugget. That sounds like a hot rock going pew, 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 pew. All right, we'll dig a little bit more here and then we'll just get on to showing you some gold. I know you guys want to see some gold. You want to see some gold? poke and then I think I'm just gonna get on to showing you folks some gold I just wanted to make a short video trying to show you what I'm up to some days most days I'm just out swinging my metal detector and trying to find new nugget patches and oh if I found a nice one this year I found a couple nice ones so stick around just a few more minutes and we'll get showing that stuff get these rocks out of here pull that right there As you can see, I don't like taking a whole lot out at a time. I like to just work it nice and slow. You ain't going nowhere. You got nowhere to be. No reason to wear yourself all out in 10 minutes. Man, that stuff looks good. Look at that. That's all white. That's all white. Hey, that's all white. <laughs> all right, we got a big old rock down here. It looks like get that one out. We'll give it one more swing. Now I'm going to show you guys some gold and then I'm going to get back to digging in the background. Right, here we go. And you could be in auto two or in auto on this machine doing this and it'll find most of the gold. You're not going to miss a whole lot, especially if you're on like bedrock or caliche and it's real thin you're spreading it out thin but if you want to hear those micro pieces you got to be in full manual mode and you just got to kind of learn the song and dance i say that's a hot rock but we can't leave it there right we better get it out there Get those out real quick. What's that? That's cool. All right. 
That's it. I'm throwing in the fork. <laughs> or the towel or whatever they say. Yep, I pull out my gold and that's when people start coming out of the woodworks. I'm telling you what. Jeez Louise, I can't go nowhere without you people trying to find my gold. <laughs> I don't care what you say, that was pretty funny. I literally no more than pulled that gold out into the sunshine and all of a sudden I heard, what is that sound? Look up and there's that paraglider guy going over me and then another one after him. So that was pretty funny, good timing, but let's get you guys flipped around, show you some gold. Now, most of this gold is just stuff I found from literally just walking around and swinging my metal detector. 99% uh, of this stuff didn't come from digging like you saw today, just a quick glimpse. Um, it just came from searching the lands, putting in the boot time, and uh, digging every dang target. And I'll tell you what, I had one patch this year that's really nice. I walked up on a spot and it gave me three quarters of an ounce in just about a week. Um, and to date, I've pulled off the tiny little area. It was about 40 foot wide. I pulled, uh, I'm up to 29 grams off that one spot. And I'm gonna show you that stuff because I got it all separate. So let's get the camera flipped around and show you guys some pretty gold. Ooh, look at that. Look at that gold right there. Now I usually don't keep gold separate for much reason, but on this instance I did. So we'll start off with this jar and I'll explain it. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump this out, let you guys listen to the sound of this stuff hitting the pan. Oh yeah, that's some nice chunkies right there. So that's about, I think there's all, I don't know, a little over a half ounce there. I can't remember. I know how much is here total. Uh, nice little quartz specimen right there. Check that out. Almost looks like that purple quartz they speak of. Hmm. Go ahead and lick that up real quick. Give you guys a little better look at it. Check that out. Sorry for the shaky shakies. That's a beautiful piece of gold right there. And then we got this nice little nugget right there. A little two grammar. Pretty fat, pretty fat. So that's all stuff that I found just kind of randomly walking around. Uh, this here is all about trying new areas and covering a lot of ground. So that's how them, you know, that's how them good patches are found. You got to just put it in the time. It's a nice piece too right there. Look at that chunk of noogie all right so that's some pretty good stuff but check this out so this pile right here and i gotta keep these separate check this out this all came from one nugget patch and like i said before the area was about sorry i wasn't on screen there it was about 40 feet wide and look at that biggest piece 2.3 gram right there kaboom yeah so that's some pretty nice gold right there and right there and right there. Ooh, hey, look at that stuff. I love it. It makes me happy. It's fun stuff to find. Each little piece makes a smile. And there's some tiny little buggers in here too. You should see some of these. Like, look at this little guy right there. That thing. Let me see if I can get him to stick to my finger here. Look at that. I was found with the gold monster. And it finds even smaller than that. Look at that tiny little thing right there. That's crazy, man. But yeah, that's just a little bit of what I'm up to this season. A couple months, I think I've been here 70 days, and right there, there's 52 grams right on the dot. So that's not too bad. I try to go for a gram a day, and I don't go out every day. Um, in the long run, I try to average an ounce a month if it's possible, you know, and you can do that if you're putting in the time in the right areas. It's there. It's still out there to find. So... Just let that be a little inspiration. I'm not trying to show off or anything like that. I say all this just as inspiration. You know, there's a lot of people that are out there looking and do your research, put in the time. That kind of gold's still out there to find. Just chasing crumbs around, looking for those big ones that come along the way. You know, and that's the other thing. You could have a whole bunch of bad days. I started off this season and I think the first month I was only at about 12 grams. And then in a matter of four days, five days, I pulled all that, 29 grams right there. So I did better in four days than I did in a month. So now I'm just waiting for that next little pile to come along that I find in another area. And you never know, you could run across a big lunker like I did last year. I know a lot of you have seen it and held it, but if you haven't, check out some of my other gold videos. They're under my gold prospecting playlist. And check out the one that's a multi-ounce nugget found on a club claim. That's right two and a half ouncer last year that was a dream nugget to find 
But yeah, that's just a little bit of the gold I've been finding this year. And I just wanted to key you guys in, say hi, let you know I'm still alive, still out here. And I'll try and keep them videos coming as I can and when I can. I might start doing some tips and tricks videos for the metal detecting folks out there. You know, a lot of, I know a lot about that gold monster. I've, I've learned my way around that machine. Getting pretty familiar with the uh, GPX 6000 as well. So I might start doing some kind of tutorial videos and some just some tips and tricks and how-tos on those kind of machines. Um, even though I'm not able to get out and show the actual day-to-day what I'm doing in metal detecting. As you saw today in about 10 minutes, it's not always that fun or entertaining. And most days it's just spent chasing trash and filling my pocket with trash and looking for those new patches. And then when I get on one, I'm so dang excited. I can't stop to video, you know, time is gold and I gotta get that gold. But I got some other stuff I might play around with. I got this one spot. I kind of want to do a drift mine, start a tunnel straight down through the Caliche, just like old Jeff Williams does get down there and see if we can find the ancient bedrock and see if there's anything down there. Cause in this place on a couple of the mineralogy reports, they speak of notes that there could be high values at the bedrock, but it's never been explored by humans. So I don't know. You think I should start a drift mine, dig a big hole through Caliche, go 30, 50, 60, 70 feet down, then drift off. If I'm finding gold, let me know in the comments. It's a lot of work, but I don't know, kind of fun. I also want to explore some mines. I got some old mines out here that I got access to. I can get to easily. Not really easily, but I can get to them. So if you want to see some, uh, just hike into some mines and check them out, let me know in the comments. It's not something I, you know, know a whole lot about the ore side of things. Uh, but we can go stare at them. And I got a couple that I do know a little bit of the geology and how they work. We could get to them and check them out. Maybe find some old trinkets. Maybe find a little bit of gold. But... For the most part, I'm just down here for the winter, trying to keep warm and uh, trying to put as much gold in the pile as I can. So just know I'm thinking of y'all. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you hanging in there and uh, we'll get back to videos soon. And worst case, worse, we'll get back to them Fairburn agate videos when I get back to South Dakota in the springtime or midsummer or whenever I get back there. Cause you know, I love them dang rocks, man. I can't give them up. So, you know, we're gonna go find some more of those. Anyways, folks. Thanks for tuning in out there. Best luck to you, whether you're chasing the gold or whatever it is you're out there looking for. Good luck to you. Get out there, put in that boot time, do some research. You can find it too. We'll see you on the next one.